The Linwood Historical Society was first built in 1873 as a Leedsville school. In 1895, a partition was put in to make two classrooms. It served as a school until 1908, when Belhaven Avenue was built. It has been a library and served a stint at City Hall. In 1980, it was converted from a library to a historical society. It's restored to be like it was back in 1873. Placed on the NJ Registered Historical Places on November 1st in 1984 and named to the National Registration of Historical Places on December 20th, 1984. Today, it is one of Linwood's oldest and most popular historical sites. Welcome to uh, the Linwood Historical Society Museum. It's a very old building, uh, built in 1873, and it has been in city use or town use ever since. And that's a pretty good statement to make for an old building. It started out as a school, at one time had as many as 64 students in this single room. When Belhaven Avenue was <clears throat> built in, eight, in uh, 1908, this building became Borough Hall. We weren't a city yet. And it was a borough hall and then city hall until uh, 1965. That's a long run. In 1965, when they built the new borough hall down on um, Poplar Avenue, further down, um, it became a library. <clears throat> it was a library until the mid-1980s when, when Crestleo School was rebuilt for a library and this building then became a museum, and that's the way it's working today. Um, we like to focus on Linwood things or things that might have been used by people who lived in Linwood, going back to wherever we can go back to. Um, our collection here um, honors um, any Linwood citizen who served the country in the, in the military. <clears throat> um, we have um, some blacksmith tools that go back to the early 20th century when Harry Potter was our blacksmith. Uh, I might also add that um, shortly after that, we had a police chief in the 1920s whose name was Jesse James. So we had all those popular people here first. Um, we have in the, in the back corner uh, of our museum here, we have a schoolroom that has part of the original blackboards from 1873 in it. A lot of pictures of the schools over the years. <clears throat> um, some pieces out of Poplar Avenue School before they tore it down. We were lucky to grab some. We have a collection of kids' tools, or toys, rather. Um, Grandmom's Kitchen has some things in here. Probably Great Grandmom's Kitchen by now. Um, we have some scenes from Bargaintown Pond when it was a popular place to go ice skating in the wintertime. It really froze in those days. Some farming tools, some um, Grandpa's tools. We have models built by a Linwood resident by the name of Tom Adams. The models are uh, airplanes that he actually flew over the ballpark. Um, we have a model, a trolley model that he made, the uh, Sure Fast Line trolley. It looks exactly like the model that he made. We all went to school on that trolley if we went to Pleasantville High School back in the day. Um, it's a good, interesting place. We love to have people come. Last year we opened up an annex out back of that is, um, used to be a gas station on Shore Road at Belhaven Avenue. And then it became, uh, during World War II, they, the city, or the borough it was yet, uh, hauled it down here to be a police station because during World War II they needed more special policemen to serve as uh, air raid wardens and things like that. So it used to be a police station. And now it's like, um, we try to make it tell the story of the corner stores. 
as well as being a police station. When I was a kid in Linwood, there was a corner store everywhere. There were right within this building, there were three little corner stores. Each one sold a different brand of ice cream. Um, we have the um, candy display cabinet out there. That used to be down at the corner store, which is Lewin Market, it used to be Stuber's. I used to buy candy out of that little cabinet. Um, so we have a lot of things that try to tell the story of what Linwood was like, and we're always looking to add more to the collection. Mm -hmm.